So gyms were closed for over 365 days over 2020 and 2021. And let's not go back to that, to the way it was. The health and fitness industry in Victoria is gonna really play an imperative part of returning Victoria back to the way it was. The lockdowns weren't kind to anyone. Gyms, personal trainers, strength coaches, fitness instructors are gonna play a real vital role in helping to restore the health and well-being of many Melbournians. At In Athlete, we had the privilege of remaining relatively active online during the lockdowns. We're able to still be able to provide training programs, lease out our equipment as well, and be able to have some regular sessions, whether it is our athlete development sessions online on Zoom, or just a simple um, coffee chat as well. We were able to catch up and be able to see the members again and be able to have some really insightful and in-depth conversations. And personally for me, that was a real pleasure to be a part of. Whilst this is okay in the short term, this was only gonna provide a band-aid solution that a lot of members and even a lot of Victorians really felt like they wanted to get back into training in, within a facility and also around a community. With youth sport and life beginning to come back to normality, it's time to really start managing some expectations um, for when youth athletes come back um, into training and playing their sport. We've already heard some horror stories of a lot of youth athletes getting injured in the first couple of weeks of returning back to sport. So we feel like it's really important for us to begin to educate sports coaches, parents and youth athletes and managing those expectations for when they do return back, but also in the long term as well to help bring them up um, back to normal fitness levels so they're able to compete at, at their best. And as a business, there was many ups and downs um, throughout this time. It was great that we were able to open back up at various stages, but it was, it was soul crushing to feel like everything you had worked towards, you now you had to go back and, and basically shut down the business once again and go back to online coaching. Now, but during this, this time, there's been plenty of ups and some of those ups have been, we've been able to hire, or be able to bring on our fourth coach, uh, Matt has been an imperative part to our team. Creating an outdoor space to train. So this is, we've had to think a little bit more outside the box, how can we maximize the space, but also keep everyone safe during this time. The one thing I'm really liking is we've seen a big shift to more coaching based services within the health and fitness industry. What this really means is a lot of individuals are looking for the help and the support needed to achieve their goals, whether it's anything from weight loss to muscle gain, whether it's more just for health and well-being, but also sports performance related as well. We're seeing a real niche in, the, um, in that area. And the last one, making out of six lockdowns. Now, this is something that I believe everyone should acknowledge and it's almost, it should be celebrated as well and just kind of recognized as, as a form of success. It has been hard on a lot of businesses and I have seen a lot of businesses take a hit during this time. Earlier this year, we had grand plans to really expand Inner Athlete, which are on hold at this time as we start the recovery process, getting thing, things back to normal and really starting to see some growth here, then we'll be able to share those plans a little bit later on down the track. But that's a secret for the time being. As we head into the new year, I think it's a great time to really reflect and understand that our health should not be defined as taking a couple of pills and be bed bound in order to recover. It's really gonna take a proactive approach to really make sure that we're optimizing our health, not just in the short term, but also in the long term as well. Unfortunately, this whole COVID business is gonna be sticking around for quite a while and really has illustrated the need for us to be taking a more proactive approach with our health and fitness, to eating well, to exercise, getting some sunlight and social connection with our loved ones and our family. For an athlete, we are working behind the scenes, cooking up some steamy content for you, specifically to help parents and also youth athletes kind of navigate the youth athlete development side to make sure you're setting up your young ones for future success. And we think this is gonna be a bigger and bigger area heading into 2022 and beyond. So come along with the journey into the new year. You can follow along with our socials and hopefully we'll see you soon.